Now we are going to talk about question number seven from session two. Uh, which uh, which one of the following statement is true for USM process? So it is ultrasonic machining process they are talking about, and uh, they say that in USM the tool vibrates at subsonic frequency, which I think it's wrong, right? Because it is ultrasonic machining, ultrasonic more than the sound of speed. Yeah. And USM does not employ magnetostrictive transducer. No, it does. So it's wrong. And uh, USM is an excellent process for machining ductile materials. No, USM is not used for ductile materials. It is only used for brittle materials such as glass, right? And uh, fourth one is USM often uses a slurry comprised sink, abrasive particles and water. Yes, obviously. This is how the USM actually performs. There will be a transducer, and uh, to the transducer, there will be a uh, there will be the tool attached to it, and between tool and the workpiece, there will be small gap, uh, and this tool will be called continuously vibrating. So, and the tool is not going to uh, strike the workpiece directly. Instead, uh, with, in between the gap uh, between the tool and the workpiece, there will be a slurry uh, of abrasive particles and the water. So firstly, <coughs> this tool is going to uh, hit the abrasive particles and in turn abrasive particles are going to wear out or remove a small part of the material from the workpiece. And this is how the USM actually is performed, right? Uh, so yes, option D is the correct option, right? 